and good morning guys from sunny London uh, since many of you requested my next vlog to be from London and to show you how my life looks like in London and what I do in a day I decided that this whole week I will be vlogging and showing you around and just how my life basically looks like so I'm currently in central London I'm waiting for my friend to come but she's running late so I might go to a few shops while I wait for her and then we're going to see an exhibition nearby so yeah, I'll keep you updated so I just met my friend Charlotte and we are going to an exhibition I don't think I said where to but we're going to the Cartier store on New Bond Street they have an exhibition which is only for a couple of days and today or tomorrow is the last day so we decided to spend our Monday looking at diamonds <laughs> So yeah, we're walking over there and it's it's pretty quiet in London for a Monday, which is good. exhibition it was quite small but it was interesting they had a lot of tiaras and necklaces I wasn't allowed to film with a camera but I did film uh, with my phone we went to Debenhams to eat and we tried mac and cheese it's called a mac factory the place we went to it was good just really heavy because there's a lot of cheese but if you like mac and cheese you probably should go and now we're walking on to Oxford Street and I think we're going to be heading home soon. That's basically it for now. I came back home like 15 or 20 minutes ago. Anyway, I wanted to say this before I forget, but I wanted to say thank you so so much for all the lovely messages and comments you guys sent to regarding my first vlog. I was so surprised by all the positive feedback. I honestly wasn't expecting it. I was very anxious before posting the vlog because it's something that I've never done before and this me talking to a camera and filming myself is something that is way 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 out of my comfort zone and I'm honestly very very happy that you guys liked it and you found it fun and entertaining to watch because that was my ultimate goal to be fun and entertaining so thank you so much it means a lot to me your lovely words and support they mean a lot I replied to every single message I got and every single comment but in case I forgot in your comment or message Please let me know and I'll reply. There were quite a lot, so it might have, might, some might have slipped, but I tried to reply to every single one of you. And good morning. I've actually been up for hours, but I was studying, so there wasn't anything fun to vlog apart from my notes and books, which I don't think you were interested in seeing. I'm still in my pajamas, by the way. I'm the type of person that likes to spend their day in pajamas. I'm finishing up my tea, uh, still in a Christmas mug, and I'm gonna do prepare some food now, breakfast, well, it's actually past noon, so it's more like lunch, but I don't, I usually skip on breakfast, I eat later in the day, and then I have to get ready because I have the afternoon filled with uh, lectures and seminars, so I'm at uni until six in the evening i'm not sure what i'm gonna vlog today because there isn't anything interesting going on it's just me studying and me going to university i don't think i'm allowed to record so as i said now i'm gonna do some breakfast slash lunch and then i'm gonna get ready and head to uni for breakfast i'm having coconut yogurt with granola I have some strawberries, blueberries, coconut flakes, and then I added some flax seeds and honey. And this is what I usually have, either this or oatmeal. And this is what I'm wearing to uni today. The coat is from Michael Kors. The sweater, I think it's Femme looks, I'm not sure. 
The jeans are Topshop and the boots are from Massimo Dutti. This is kind of my everyday uni look. I will also link everything down below in the description bar. Hopefully, I will manage to find all the pieces that I'm wearing. But that's it for now. And good morning. It's Wednesday. I'm currently at home. I'm getting dressed. And then I'm heading for brunch with my friend Jenia. We're going to Notting Hill. Uh, I'm almost dressed. I just need to quickly decide what I'm wearing shoe and coat wise and then I will quickly show you my outfit before I head out So this is what I'm wearing. The sweater is from Loa Vies. The jeans, the ripped jeans are from Topshop. The boots are from New Look. I'm wearing my Chanel bag, my Ray-Ban sunglasses that you can't see and I'm wearing the same coat as yesterday this is it this is the whole look of what i'm wearing today and now i'm off to the tube station and then off to notting hill I just met up with my friend Jenya <laughs> and now we're gonna go for brunch at Granger and Co. Yes. And apparently they have the best pancakes in London and we're yes. gonna test that. So we're at Granger and Co and the brunch menu is finished, so we're having lunch. This is the Aussie something and my friend's having pasta. <laughs> yeah, so healthy. Let's see if it's good or not. Okay, so we uh, we finished lunch. Lunch was so good, and now we're going to what's the place called? Gales. Gales to try Gales cinnamon buns and to warm up because it's a bit cold. And good morning. I'm currently at home. It's 7.30. I am really, really tired. I've messed up my sleeping regime so much in the past two weeks that for me now it's impossible to fall asleep before 4 a.m. I'm trying really hard to put it back in track by waking up early, hoping that the night, the next night I would be able to fall asleep, but it isn't working so far. I have a study group at 10. So I'm gonna go through my notes before I go to uni. Today I also have classes, but in the afternoon. So I don't know what I will be doing today. I don't know how much I will be vlogging since it's more kind of uni work. I'm in my pajamas, uh, waiting for my tea. And yeah. And I'm back home. I just came from uni a while ago. I changed into sweats. I have this huge pile of boxes lying around that I received so I decided that I'll do a little unboxing video since you always seem to enjoy them when I do them on my insta stories so let's see what I got since I don't know some of the things I have no idea what they are so this is the first package I already like cut the uh, tape because I always struggle with that so this video isn't 20 minutes long of me struggling to open a package picnic basket this is so cute I love a picnic basket. Okay, let's see what is this. Okay, it says, Hey Tona, we hope you love our fact water. It's best served as cold. Love the team at Fact Headquarters. I absolutely love when brands write little uh, little notes when they're sending out the, their PR packages or they send me something. It makes it so nice to know that they actually spend time personalizing it. So fact is a sparkling water with fruit infusions and I think they have a couple of flavors and they sent me this huge picnic basket with 
a lot of things inside so let's see what they got okay so here they wrote down everything that is in the bottom in the basket so that's what i'm reading it's a reusable keep cup so cute eco friendly straws from eco straws i've actually never had um i've never tried like these eco friendly straws that you can wash and reuse but it's really smart oh my god this is so cute it's a lemon tree how cute is this i don't have plants in my apartment i always buy flowers i've never had a plant uh, this is honestly so freaking cute that i'm just gonna put it either in the kitchen or at the table then there are what is this oh mandarin seeds so you can plant your own mandarins this is also really cute and then we have the water so there is the lemon lime sparkling water the raspberry blackberry sparkling water and the mango mandarin so they have three different flavors and this is one of the cutest beer packages i received i really love when brands put so much effort in creating very fun and interactive beer packages it's it just it's so nice that how much time brands spend in planning out and designing their beer packages and this is from patissiere de Bain. I probably am pronouncing this wrong. So inside I have a shower gel and a body souffle. Oh, it smells so good. Thank you very much. But this year, I can't pronounce it. No, no point of me even trying. The second package is from Shein. Oh, uh, I think I remember. This is from their spring summer collection. It's like a two piece set. Yes, it's a two piece set. This is from their new spring summer collection, which I think is launching soon. But I got to see it a couple of weeks ago and I got to pick some stuff. Um, this is really nice. I like the Sergeant print, but I this has to wait since outside is freezing and I probably can wear it for another three months at least. And then I have a bigger package from Shein that arrived this afternoon. Okay, so the first thing is this puffer jacket that i'm so excited about i wanted a puffer jacket this whole season but i didn't manage to get one and it's almost end of winter but i couldn't resist it's this really nice green color and it's velvet and it's very very soft this is also a print. it's this grayish coat with a tartan print and there are also this bird embroidery i think it's really cute and the last thing, it's like a knitted like sweater material dress. And now I have to clean up the aftermath of unboxing. This, this is the aftermath. And then I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I might study a bit. I might watch the new Riverdale episode. Although I was complaining to my friends that that show is getting cringier and cringier by the episode. I still watch it and comment down below if you watch Riverdale and if you like it Last night was snowing a lot and my voice is weird because I just woke up And I was hoping to wake up to see London covered in snow But this is it This is the only snow we got <laughs> This is just sad I'm going to meet my friend for coffee to catch up and the weather outside is absolutely horrible it's raining but it's not it's not rain it's not even snow it's something in between and all, everything's wet and disgusting and it's not a good day and i'm back home from my little coffee date with my friend maria outside as you could saw you could see the weather was absolutely horrible and it's really cold and windy and rainy so I was I was planning to go to a library today instead of the library But I can't be bothered to go out in this freezing weather. So I'm just gonna stay at home And I was planning a more fun Friday, but yeah, things just don't work out sometimes. I also have this big um, Picnic basket because I was shooting some content for a campaign that I'm working on with a brand and Now I have to edit those photos before I have to 
and then I have to post them. I'm kind of lazy. This weather is perfect to like make yourself a cup of tea and read a book. But I have a, I have a dissertation to write, and I need to s straight out my priorities. Um, let's see if something interesting happens throughout the day. I will let you know. Okay, I also got two more packages today. I think the people working at my reception think that I'm a shopaholic <laughs> because every day I get these two packages. I wasn't expecting them. I, I don't even know what they are. Let's see. This one I opened because I didn't know what it is. And I didn't see what's inside. So, oh, this is from Percy and Reed. Yes, they messaged me that they will send me some of their things. It smells nice. It's a London-based hair brand. I also realized that this half of this video will probably be videos of me unboxing things which is kind of embarrassing by the amount of stuff i get so this is a overnight recovery i think it's a hair mask that you put overnight yeah it's an overnight hair mask i've never tried i really like the design it's very minimalistic and then the other thing, it's a silk sleeping mask. I love sleeping masks. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I love it. This is actually really, really cute. I use a sleeping mask and a lot of people think it's weird. And some of my friends think it's weird, but I just love sleeping masks. Camera folks. I'm actually really excited for this. So it's from the Cambridge Box Company. Okay, so let's see. Uh, this is just too cute. I love candles. I already have two candles there that I'm currently burning. And this one smells really fresh. It's very cute. Thank you. This is from U Box. They sent this to me. Thank you so much, this is so nice. So it's been a pretty uneventful day. I'm still here doing some coursework and replying to some emails that I have. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And also let me know how you liked it and what you would like to see in my next vlog.